Welcome to the channel everyone, I'm Scratch, this is another Dragon Air Silent Gods video, day 11 of season 3 Echoes of the Deep. Today we unlocked rank 5 on our heroes, we unlocked level 20 for our artifacts, and of course we unlocked Goblin 3. Now, I will walk you through a team that will farm Goblin 3 on uh, the highest difficulty. It's a pretty free to play friendly team actually, and... Uh, I'm going to share with you guys a couple of different tips on how you can actually conquer the Goblin Slayer dungeon because you got to make sure you're farming this on the highest possible stage as fast as possible. This video is sponsored by Dragonair Silent Gods. So I just want to say a big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys are new to the channel or you haven't tried Dragonair Silent Gods, now is the perfect moment to start playing. Season 3 is in full swing. And if you want to help and support the channel, you can download the game by using my link in the description down below or in the pinned comment or by scanning the QR code you see on the screen. Currently, guys, I am on a test server, okay? So what I've done, I copied my progress from my account to the test server, the Psyche core and everything else. And that's what I'll be doing from here on for the entire season. The reason for it, I want to be able to share with you guys free-to-play guides or free-to-play friendly guides, low-budget low guides, because I'm not using some of these rare champions, rare heroes at the moment on my account, but I want to show them to you guys. I want to show you different teams that you can use if you don't have access to the legendaries that I have access to on my account. So I decided to have this uh, test server exactly like my own account. I'm going to use the exact same sort of gear, epic gear. I'm going to keep the exact same level on the characters, the exact same level on artifacts, the exact same level on gear, runes, everything exactly how I would be on my main server, okay? So let me just quickly show you uh, what we have in store for, uh, for you guys. In Season 3, we have a brand new Elemental Affinity. So if you're not familiar with that, guys, we have a co completely different combination of elements. We have Ice and Poison, which will be a very strong one. That's exactly what I'm going to showcase in today's video. Fire and Radiance, very strong as well. And of course, we have uh, Necrosis and Lightning. Now, the reason why ice and poison is uh, so powerful is because we have Usha, we have Sigrid, we have Voresh, we have some monsters when we're talking about these. Goblin Layer 3. I haven't managed to 3-star it yet, but you will understand why. We are at level 28 today on the actual server. Tomorrow, we will unlock the Ancient Battlefield at level 29, which will give us access to negative runes. This is what I have equipped on my heroes at the moment. Now, I can, if I want to, to go and level up all of the artifacts to level 20. That is already available in game. If I want to, I can go and level up all of these heroes to level 100 and show you that you can do it without the negative runes. Now, if I want, I can even put legendary gear. That is already available in game. Mythical gear is available in game. But I want to do it with the minimal requirements, okay? Because I know some of you guys might attempt to do this a bit earlier. Now, keep in mind, today we unlock Goblin 3. So that's what I'm showing you. Uh, if you guys are trying to do Goblin 2, this can work there as well. But you're going to have probably a slightly lesser stats because your heroes will be blocked at level, uh, level 90. I have two legendary artifacts. The Witch's Remains, yes. If you don't have it, I'm sorry. I hope you're going to get a duplicate champion soon and you're going to be able to get that uh, legendary artifact. And we have the Ravatrix Roots, which is the free legendary artifact that you are getting in Season 2 from uh, defeating the Fey Mander. So I have that on Usha because she is the tank in here. I need her to make sure she's staying alive without getting uh, destroyed and the artifact gives her a good amount of uh, HP. I have the new epic... Uh, uh, artifact, Rascal Slingshot. This gives me accuracy and attack. It's a pretty interesting one, but it's an epic artifact, right? So you can, uh, you can acquire it. We have the Volcanic Disc. But how you may notice, all of the uh, gear sets that we have on are either the Barbarian, right? Which is uh, giving me attack and crit rate. Either we have the Skill Haste set, the Goblin uh, uh, Brawler, you know? So I want to have Skill Haste on Voresh. I want to have Skill Haste on, uh, on uh, Rava to ensure that I'm... Uh, having the right debuffs at the right moment. Now, this is my timings right here. Uh, the problem that I was encountering is that they're all using their skills at the same time. The AI is very, very bad in the Goblin. Hopefully, they will improve this in the, in the future. And uh, I just want to leave a bit of a gap in between their skills to ensure that uh, they will uh, 
basically uh, not overlap all of the skills into into a big uh, big mess. You know, I am using food, of course, to try and maximize this, and this is the recipe that gives me thirteen percent attack. Now on my account, I'm using a full team of legendaries uh, plus Voresh. So I have basically Vitar the exclusive. I have Rook the exclusive. I have the new couple, right? I have uh, Finja and uh, Theodemer, and I have Voresh. And I'm getting three stars on stage three, but only with like 95% win rate at the moment. But again, I have no negative runes. That's something that we are going to unlock tomorrow, which will make this much easier. And we will pre-start it with this team and will be a piece of cake. But that being said, let me just show you how this works out. And you're going to be able to see the, the damage as well. So this is stage three, uh, difficulty three. We have Vorash with defense down. Then we have Dorkaras uh, going in together with Sigrid. Dorkaras as well, I had to make sure I'm putting his, uh, his uh, skills on cooldown. I mean, I'm delaying it a bit. If not, he's going to go before, uh, before Vorash just because he's gaining ultimate energy from the battle skill. Then I had to make sure I'm putting uh, Rava to go before, uh, before Usha to have that frost applied on the enemies to deal more damage. Then from here on, they're just basically doing, uh, doing their own. I just a little bit played around with their... Uh, with their, ti their timings at the beginning to ensure that we have the best possible uh, progression through through the waves here and we're just slowly hammering them all down now Sigrid is Sigrid she's just gonna <laughs> go in with her ultimate regardless it doesn't matter if uh, if uh, it's gonna be helpful if it's not she's still gonna do it because she can why not I guess right <laughs> but there we go slowly and surely we are uh, taking them uh, them down Usha just killed that Sigrid actually, I think she used her ultimate there, but she recharged it back very, very quick. That's the good thing about Sigrid, you know, she can do that. And then we have the rest slowly just uh, dealing damage. Now, I'm very convinced that uh, it can be very doable to restart it even today if I'm, uh, if I'm retrying it a bit. And if I'm letting it play on auto, you see, we're very close to restart it. Very, very close to restart it. But if I'm going to let it play on auto, I need exactly uh, four, four seconds or five seconds to three start it, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, that will get the, it will get the job done. But let me just quickly do another run. Maybe, maybe we're going to do it now, you know. Keep in mind, if, see, I have uh, three characters at level 95. Uh, my artifacts are only at level 16. Uh, no runes. I'm going to repeat that again. Zero legendary gear. And I'm sure a lot of you guys that are right here today and you're doing Goblin 3, you have at least a couple of pieces of legendary gear. I know you do. So uh, I'm using none just to kind of like show you that uh, this team is very, very solid. That's the main point of the, of the whole thing. That's what I want to show you. I wish that Sigrid would be a bit smarter and not quickly rush to use her ultimate before the rest of the heroes put debuffs. It will actually be very, very uh, helpful. But is not uh, it's not the case for most of the most of the situations here, you know. So we are slowly loading our uh, ultimates again. Sigrid, of course, hitting one target. Uh, if I could have Voresh to go as fast as Sigrid, that would be absolutely amazing. But unfortunately, it's just not uh, not doable, you know. But that would be extremely helpful because Sigrid, he would be so so much better like this. You can always time it if you want to manual this, you know, like right now I could have stopped Sigrid, let Voresh go, then let Sigrid, and it would have been an easy three star right here. But I don't want to manual it. I want to let it go on full, uh, on full aura, you know, to try and basically maximize the, the, the result in here. It's very close to, to the three star, but we're just not, not there. Look at that. You see how close it is? <laughs> Literally. But once we get the negative runes on them tomorrow, Easy peasy lemon squeezy, guys. Let me quickly show you the stats on all of the, the characters. 1 minute and 22 seconds. Best time is 1 minute and 20 seconds. So this was a bit slower than the previous one. So you've seen the timings. You've seen the rest. If I'm going to go on to their stats. So right here, I don't need to read the stats. Actually, the total stats because it's pretty pointless with the gear that we have at the moment. This is my Usha, right? Uh, almost almost 90% crit rate. Uh, almost 4,000 attack, and we have 67 crit damage. Not amazing. I have crit rate gloves on all of them, you know, like I cannot give them crit damage uh, gloves at the, at the moment. She needs a bit of survivability though. Then we have Sigrid with the eyeball of the giant. 
Uh, she actually has 114 crit damage. She has uh, 74 uh, crit rate. And we have 3.4k attack. Nothing too, too insane, but that's what we can get at this, uh, at this point. Vorash with the uh, uh, Witch's Remains. We have two skill haste sets, 61 crit rate, 75 crit damage, 3k attack, and you need accuracy on him. 100, uh, 20, 30 plus, you're not ensure that uh, you're debuffing the, the goblins. Then you have uh, Rava. Uh, he has the Rascal Slingshot. One skill haste set, one barbarian, and we have uh, 60, 63 crit rate. We have 135 crit damage, and we have 2.8k attack. And we have 130 accuracy. And Dorkaras with the Volcanic Disc. Uh, one uh, one uh, skill haste, one barbarian. We have uh, 70 crit rate, almost 69. And we have uh, 88 crit damage. And we have uh, 3.9k uh, attack. This is the team, guys. That's how I'm doing Goblin right now. That's how you can do Goblin right now. If you want to see again the... Elemental Affinity, uh, the uh, Psychic Core, that's what we have. No accuracy on it, no nothing. The 5 Hero Elemental Affinity is not unlocked. Uh, we don't benefit from it. But having 5 uh, heroes from the same Elemental Affinity will give them the attack, the defense, the HP, and everything else that they need. So that will boost their stats overall, even though you don't have a 5-man Elemental Affinity. Thanks again to Dragoner for sponsoring today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what team are you guys using for the Goblin uh, today? What are you planning to do in the next couple of days? And uh, make sure you guys are not farming gear non-stop. Make sure you're farming Goblin and build your teams up. Farm gear once the double legendary gear drops are on. If you want to get involved and download Dragoner Silent Gods, you can do so by clicking my link in the description down below or in the pinned comments or by scanning the QR code you see on the screen. That was all for the video. Much love and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.